So, um, at least then you can sack the exchange flags. Not in live on. Yeah, I think the problem here is this. And then bc3, knight e7, c6, and this pawn should probably drop, so... What's the difference between going with the e even knight well, and c9? Well, uh, what he pointed out uh, just now, the bishop g5 is there. Oh. I have this stroke. So. But he can also just as well start with um, knight e d5 and uh, b4, so... Um. So then suddenly I found myself in quite a bit of a spot, and uh, my impression is I was busted round over here. I didn't see a single moment for him, but maybe I wasn't trying very hard. Um, I mean, in general, in these positions, it's better not to see the wins of the opponent. So that's what I'm trying to do. No, I mean, for me, the issue is just when I went knight b5 later on, I simply missed that you had knight b7. I was calculating knight e6, and I couldn't make it work for you. So I was, hmm. I was just uh, yeah. wondering. Can you show that? Uh, I mean, I could win. I could play f4 uh, after bishop g5. Right here, I think. And uh, win the exchange, but I wasn't sure if I should do it. Uh huh, sure. I mean, bishop f4, knight f4, e4, knight c7, maybe a4. Yeah, the usual. Uh, and then I don't know, b4, bishop a2. What did you say, sir? F4. F4. I think bishop d5, e d5, and then bishop, rook c1, rook c1, bishop f4, rook d c6. That should be very strong. So yes. bishop f4. So his point is just uh, that he takes my exchange like this. Knight c7. But actually, black will have pretty decent compensation. Even some move like knight e5 here. Yeah. Knight a6, rook a6, and then g5. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be too unhappy with that. Uh, but he was thinking e a4 right away, which yeah, may maybe, be possible. Yeah, maybe knight e5 is quite, yeah. quite good. Um, but round about here, yeah, I should be in big trouble. Uh, rook c3 is actually... A the funny thing is here, this is very clever. I mean, maybe I should have gone king h8, actually. I really well, wanted to play king h8, but uh, somehow I had some back rank sensation. But of course, king h8 is uh, correct. Because now, if rook c1, I have rook c6, and if king f1, then I just... Um, play knight f6. And the point is in the game, I can never play knight f6 after, after this, because of anyway it's knight d6 winning. Uh -huh. Keeping the knights without taking. So of course, I, I think king h8 was a good opportunity here that I missed. Why not I'm not even sure about bishop f2, but uh, it's I not that I saw something I go rook c1, then perhaps... Uh, knight c5. Right? No, I, I just thought takes, takes bishop d5 and then bishop b6. I thought it wasn't 100% uh -huh. clear. Sure. Um, no, the problem for white is also that there are too many tempting continuations. Yeah. But I think I had to play king h8. This was a serious omission. Because here, I still don't have knight f6, so eventually I came up with this ridiculous move. And then bishop g5. Rook c3 is uh, quite sophisticated. Yeah, and he says he missed uh, knight b7. Knight b7. In fact, I, I played knight b7 because knight, I couldn't make knight e6 work either. No. I, I would have preferred to play knight e6, but it's just. Uh, not I mean, working. I was just. If if I'd considered knight b7 at all, maybe I'd gone for for something else because uh -huh. I think. But it still looks very attractive, for it? Yeah, it does, but I was just so. Hmm. And now, actually, I thought a3. He had to play a3 here <coughs> and allow rook b6, a4. And maybe a later on I'll play yeah. bishop b4, but yeah. I would rather have your pawn on uh, yeah, b4. No, I mean, h5 is also, I don't know. Well, h5 is actually, um, I had the feeling we were just playing our game from London again. Yeah, I, I, exactly. <laughs> it just looked eerily like London. Yeah. No, I mean, but I couldn't just find the time to go both a f I thought if a3, yeah, rook b6, a4, king king g6, f5 is coming really fast. Yeah, I thought he didn't even need this. I thought he could go a3 here. Maybe. Because but I was uh, trying to... Rook c2 check, then bishop d2, I thought. But I was trying to tempt you to... Play g6. No, t oh. to go rook c2 here anyway. Ah, and then and, you would play and a3. And then a3. Yeah, okay. And then bishop c5 and so on. Sure, <coughs> 
Well, anyway, so I went uh, G6, and already here I felt that uh, I was not in, I was not lost anymore because, um, the, I mean, it's funny to say this at this point, but the G2 pawn is weak. What I mean is that when White tries to bring all his pieces and clear this pawn, I'll get kind of some counterplay, either with my king, as in the game, so King G5, H5, and come fast, or uh, so in general, Black's aim is to play F5 and try and break these pawns into islands. That's the only hope Black I has. Mean, I I, I was briefly wondering about G4. Mm -hmm. I mean, trying to... Yeah, but I, I couldn't... Well, I thought hey, GH... Uh, I mean, yeah, GH, yeah. GH... Uh, what happened there? I don't know, this is... Um, it is well, I can't play... I can't... <laughs> I came there as well. Um, well, if this pawn ever gets back with... Um, sync with what? Then just ah oh, okay. I thought G four. I can take it. Take it. King G seven. Something yeah. bishop D two and king F six. King G five. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think. Yeah, I don't uh, have time to go king E three and then F four. That was yeah. my my main so problem. I, I would say, I mean, of course, white is still better, but I, I'm out of uh, yeah, I think big danger here. Much H5, maybe I could start with F6 because of the tactic in the game, but H5, he went G3, I went F6. Bec um yeah, knight C5, uh, I was kind of hoping for for that, though. Yeah, the problem is if B4, take, take, knight A6, maybe somebody in the audience wants to try? No? It's knight a7 wins. Mm. Mm. And the point is uh, exactly mm. here. Knight c8 wins. Because I cannot go back to c6. So f6 actually threatens uh, knight c5 now because uh, later on rook d6 will not be checked, forking the rook and the knight. Um, I think rook c7 is precise. Yeah. And then King e2. I mean, I walked into something bad, but uh, the king f7. But I didn't yeah. see what else to do. I mean, I, I can't play f5. Well, then you can go king g7. Yeah, but this is again like king h8. Yeah. I thought, um, well, of course. But I, I actually saw that uh, um, this ending should be drawn. And d5. I briefly yeah. considered knight d6, but because um, we get to the same ending, right? Knight d6, but I thought ah because of, because of the mate, but uh, but the thing is I have to walk my rook to d4. But I also can try to take and and play the rook ending. Hmm. Yeah, I felt this was not uh, called for, so I decided to go back to c6. Here I actually made some precise moves. Rook c6 is exact because rook yeah, c8, rook, rook, rook a3 rook could a3. be a check there, but rook c6 is exact. And this I liked, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, the only, my only, not trick, but my only idea was rook b6 and then to go knight c7. And rook c4, yeah. Oh, but I, th I thought also king e4 and then rook b4, king f5, knight e8 is threatened. Ah, okay. This I, hadn't, I must admit I hadn't considered, though I'm suspicious. So if I go h4... Oh, then you have knight, no, you don't have knight d5. I right? don't if have I knight d5. And then I will take, and I will take much more. Yep. Yeah. But I thought uh, simply rook c4 kept his, uh, well, such as it is, uh, it's probably still yes, I mean, holdable, F5, but why bother? Yeah. Uh, f5, I mean. <coughs> So is that how we should sum it up? One player annoyed at making an inaccuracy that got him into trouble and another player annoyed that he didn't exploit it? Or is that too simple? <laughs> well, w w I think one player is definitely annoyed. Yeah. I don't know if he had the win, but he, mm. he is nevertheless annoyed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you mean... If there was a clear-cut win, or is no, I, I don't think there was a clear-cut win. Mm. But, mm. but I, I thought they should have should have made more out of uh, mm -hmm. my advantage. Yeah, yeah. I'm not thrilled either. But anyway. <laughs>
No, because you got. Because <laughs> I, I think in the opening I had a pretty reasonable position. Yeah, there was no definitely. need to get into trouble. So, hmm. I mean, exactly this fork <laughs> with knight d5 before I had to walk into. But anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Well, obviously everyone was seeing this as some kind of a prologue to the match that's going to be. Um, well, you're probably going to deny that it is. Uh, so how how do you see it? I mean, how you try to get yourself out of that? I mean, so we think it's no, a prologue to your match. I th well, I think it's silly to pretend that it isn't. But no. at the same time, the match will start at 0-0, zero, zero, regardless of what happens here. So yeah. it's halfway. I think, um, mm. um, you know, if somebody had won, that would definitely be a boost. Mm. But uh, beyond that, you probably shouldn't overdo it either. Mm -hmm. There's still a tournament with lots of others to play. Yeah. So. Well, you mentioned the similarity with the, the game in London at a certain point. What I remember there is that, well, you were struggling with your form there, and I almost had the feeling that that game gave, gave you a boost because, I mean, the, the, the way you were analysing that together afterwards was wonderful to watch. I mean, you were both getting so enthusiastic about the, uh, the ending. Is that, well, I don't think that you have any objections to look at this together and exchange ideas. You yeah, sure, no, but there... Yeah. I was very. I spent actually one hour on a single move, if I remember mm. correctly, or something mm. like 50 minutes on a single move. Mm. And uh, of course, Demon. I mean, Seaman was. Seaman <laughs> <laughs> uh, was. Uh, we call him Demon Seaman. But anyway, Seaman uh, was complaining that I think a lot these days. But uh, that was that was my record, one hour. And um, the thing is, I thought I'd found the only move, and I came mm. back, and of course the computer said there were six only moves. So mm -hmm. this was not very helpful. Okay. Um, I mean, it was nice to uh, pr defend that end game. I thought it was a very mm. difficult end game, and uh, defending it was a good, uh, good thing. But um, I would say it's as much my escape with the Hikaru there in that tournament. Mm. Uh, that was also, I mean, I drew Rook versus Queen. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Okay. Well, as, as you may have noticed, there's a lot of press here. They uh, would like to ask you a couple of questions. Maybe I should say that um, it may not come as a big surprise to you that uh, both players are not really thrilled to ask any more questions about the match in being in Chennai and, and, and the, the, let's say, the, the uh, procedure, how that has gone. I mean, I think they've said, well, more than enough about that. Um, but I guess it's okay for some other questions. So is there, is there anyone who wants to ask Fishy Anand or Magnus Carlsen a question? Yes, hi. Ah, it's Mark Lewis from Associated Press. Fishy, you answered the question about this being a precursor to November, but I wonder whether you feel the same way, Magnus. Um, no, not particularly. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, this is, um, you know, another game between us. We played lots of games over the years, and uh, and it was uh, probably a sign of time to come uh, that games are going to be relatively interesting, hard, hard fought, and uh, nothing is going to come easy. I wonder if, you, if you'd say the same thing had you, had you won. <laughs> Most certainly not. <laughs> Anyone else? There's... For Magnus, uh, two draws with whites. How do you feel about that? Um, it's... Uh, Uh, you know, it's a little bit less than I'd hoped for, uh, but it's not easy to win games at this level. And uh, um, frankly, I, I've, I have just what I've deserved so far. And um, I've ha I had some very slight chances yesterday, some bigger chances today, and I couldn't I couldn't make anything of them. Uh, so. That's the way it is, and uh, and uh, besides, uh, to, uh, it's just two games, so 
Um, that's not a disaster at all. If I win one of the, the next couple of rounds, I'll be right on, on schedule. So. Yes. My question a little bit on the road to ball players. I wonder about these bright lamps over the balls. Are they not too hot on the heads? No, I hadn't noticed it really. Uh, me neither. <laughs> there you go. Well, Fishy, maybe I can ask a question. You, um, you've gotten yourself a really tough schedule to come. Well, the, with uh, three super tournaments in, in in a row, I guess you did that on purpose. Do you feel that you are, well, let's say, warming up, as they put it, that that uh, that it works? Well, this we'll we'll see, but. Mm. Um, um, I definitely played um, a fair amount of tournaments, so at least I get a chance to... Uh, I mean, in tournaments is where you see what's really... At home, it's very difficult to be um, to discover everything about yourself. It's in tournaments, you really see how you're playing and, uh, and so on. So I, I think the feedback will be useful for me, and um, I'll leave it at that. Um, whether it, uh, exactly this is the schedule I should have kept, I don't know. But um, I don't think it's... Um, a mistake or anything like that. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a definitely a heavy schedule. I'll, I'll start mm -hmm. going back to Jan. Uh, so, yeah. it's a heavy schedule. I mean, compared to what you did last year, it, it's mm -hmm. really tough. Jan. Yeah. And Magnus, I mean, this tournament is, let's say, more or less organized, well, thanks to you or for you. Does that put extra pressure on you? I mean, do you feel a responsibility to, to win? Or? Um, mm -hmm. Well, I always tried to win, so I don't see the difference there. Um, but um, as I said um, yesterday and the day before, uh, uh, and probably again, again and again till I win the game, I'm happy to play at home, and uh, mm. hopefully I'll be able to to show something more later on. Okay. I hear so much about the benefits of youth and with Magnus being so young and all the rest of these young guys. I wonder whether you feel your age uh, at all in the tournament. Um, well, it's been a while that I'm already the oldest participant in every tournament. Um, <laughs> so, um, well, that's just life. I, I don't... Uh, it's obviously a factor, but I don't think it's a huge factor. I think it's just a question of getting down and playing well. But, um, uh, well, at least I, I've gotten used to it by now. I can't remember when was the last tournament. Uh, maybe Vike, thanks to Ivan, or when Boris plays, then I'm slightly mm. younger. Um, I'm usually in the, uh, in the oldest group by far. OK. Anyone else? Otherwise, you, um, we thank you very much for, for being here. And um, lots of success in the rest of the tournament. Yeah. Sure. <laughs>